All right, everybody, just want to share with you yet another method of getting a more physical feel out of your PC gaming using NFC cards and NFC reader and the Zapparoo service. So, it's pretty cool stuff. Let's dive in. So the Zapparoo service, I believe, started out as a Mr. project as a way to easily launch ROM files with NFC cards, and it has since been ported to Linux, Windows, Mac. So I'm using it for Windows, and so you need an NFC tag reader, writer, so these things are pretty dang cheap. I'll have a link in the description below, but I believe this was about $8. And then you just need some NFC cards or tags, and so I got these credit card sized ones here which I have written games onto, or game launchers onto rather, and made some custom labels for it. Labels didn't turn out quite right, but results are pretty cool still. So need to refine that a bit more, but very excited about how this is working out. But this is really simple. It's just plug this into your computer and install the Zapparoo service. So you can find Zapparoo on the official Zapparoo site. Link to this will be in the description below, but you just click on downloads and download it for your platform. So if you're on Windows, just a standard PC, download the x86-64 version. If you're on an ARM-based version, ARM-based. So again, just get it downloaded and installed. So once you get Zapparoo installed, it shows up in your system tray just down here. And there's a bunch of different things you could do in here. So there's editing the config, mapping, launchers, doing a bunch of stuff. So my main focus today is just to show you what I'm doing with it. This isn't a full-blown Zapparoo tutorial. So I'm using it just to launch things through Steam right now because that is the easiest way to launch things. And I'll show you why. So if you just click on open here, it will bring you to this Zapparoo homepage right here. So if you come down here to create, there's a bunch of different ways to create a mapping for Zapparoo. But if you have Steam installed and your Steam library all set up, you can just click on search for media and let's make a tag for, uh, let's say Star Wars something, I don't care what. So if I click on search, it sees all of my Steam Star Wars games here. So I can just create a tag for one of these games. So let's go with Republic Commando, why not? So now I'm just gonna get one of the NFC tags Gonna tell it to write to the tag, and then I'm just gonna tap that NFC tag right there to the reader, and it writes the code needed to tell it what to launch. So I've never launched Republic Commando on this instance of Windows, so there we go, good stuff. But there it is. Republic Commando just loaded up because it wrote it to the tag, and then it read the tag instantly. So this makes it very streamlined to launch Steam stuff, and it is amazing. But launching non-Steam stuff on Windows is a bit of an involved process. The only way I've been able to do it so far is by writing bat files that will launch the executables and then telling Zapparoo to launch the bat file. But even doing that is a bit more convoluted than I would like. So for example, if I wanted to launch, say, Spider-Man Web of Shadows, this is actually... A very interesting game launch, but if I click on my run.bat file that I made here, it will launch into it. So the executable is actually buried within the folders a bit. So I created that run.bat file, it'll launch the game for me, and I've written that to an NFC card, but it won't work unless you add it to a config file. And so I have to tell it to allow that run.bat file. And if I'm going to do that for all my bat files, I need to do this for every single game. And then I have to exit out of Zapparoo, relaunch it, and then that NFC tag will work. And it's just a huge pain in the butt. I don't care for that. So what I like to do for non-Steam games is just add them to Steam. So for example, Spider-Man Web of Shadows. I think I already have that added into Steam here. But yeah, so Spider-Man Web of Shadows, there it is, non-Steam game. If I just right-click on this, Manage, Add Desktop Shortcut, it creates a Steam desktop shortcut for me to launch the game with. So there it is, that is all we need to write to our NFC tag to get Spider-Man Web of Shadows to launch instead of creating a bat file and adding that to an exception list. So I'll just copy that. And now we're back in the Zapparoo 
create screen here. If we back out here, go to custom zap script. All we have to do is type in that executable of Steam, run game, and then the game ID. And so you could do this with any Steam game. It doesn't have to be just non-Steam games. If you don't want to go through the search menu, you could create a desktop shortcut and manually do this. It's really nice and easy. But then we just tell it to write to a tag. And there we go. Now it is launching Spider-Man Web of Shadows for me, which is a non-Steam game. But by simply adding it to Steam, it makes it very convenient. And it also gives us the benefits of the Steam overlay if you like having that stuff. So I, I, I really do these days, so I'm a fan of it. So again, you can do this by using bat files or you could add things to Steam. Again, I like to add things to Steam just because it makes things so much easier. Even if you do want to go the Steam route, some things are harder to add than others, still requiring you to make a bat file. And in that case, it might be worth it to just add the bat file to Zapperu itself. But this is totally up to you and your preferences. And it also is a great way to add in emulators and ROM files for individual games that you might want to launch using this type of a method, giving it that same functionality that you see on Mr. And it's cool. Now, as for making art for these tags, I just made a template that was the same size as my NFC cards. You can find the dimensions on the store page where you bought them, but I would add a little bit of overhang so that way you don't end up with the issue that I have encountered where it just doesn't fit onto the card quite correctly. There are also printable NFC cards that you could buy. There are printers that can support an NFC tray tag, so you could print directly onto these cards to get a really streamlined image. Unfortunately, mine doesn't support it, so I'm just gonna have to stick with labels for now. I don't plan on buying another new printer just for this type of a project, but the end results are really nice. I love how these are turning out. I just need to tweak it a little bit more to get these labels to fit more flush, and I am perfectly okay with this option. So yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with the Zapparoo service. Again, need to get these labels a bit more refined, but I'm really enjoying being able to just add all my PC games into Steam to make easy shortcuts that we can then write onto an NFC card, have it launch, get the Steam overlay in a vast majority of games, and it's just really nice. It's a very easy method that I think a lot of people could get into. It doesn't require you to have CDs, DVDs for my other methods I've covered. It doesn't require you to have external storage if you want to make cartridges. And so still provides a semi-physical feel to it. So again, very cool option that is available for anyone that just wants to bring that old school feeling back to PC gaming. So yeah, looking forward to learning more about how to run Zapparoo because I'm just barely starting with this, so I really don't understand a lot of its intricacies yet, so might see more videos on this in the future, but for now, the Steam route is working for me, so love it. But thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you found it informative, and uh, if you're interested in Zapparoo, give it a shot. But here at the end, just the usual favors. Thumbs up, thumbs down, depending on how much you like it. Sub button, notification bell, and if you're interested in helping us keep the channel going, hit that join button. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, y'all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you all back next video.